Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be taking a look at how to implement a trebuchet in your Godot 3.2 game using an animation player and three static images. This is how the final result will look. Um, we will have an animation for launching. The launcher will go back, go forward and return to the, its original position and we will be able to launch a projectile in the window when the launcher is going forward. Let's get right into it. We will start out by creating a kinematic body for the trebuchet call it, call it trebuchet 2 because we already have one um, save it real quick scenes to save this will have three four sprites actually uh, the frame it will have three sprites under it uh, duplicate one for wheel front wheel back and launcher the launcher will have a animation player and a raycast 2d for where we want to launch the projectile from so let's pop in our sprites frame right here in front wheel back launcher Actually, we want the launcher to be behind the frame, so we will position it separately. The trebuchet needs a collision shape, shape 2D, and our raycast needs to be about in the place where our launch will happen. Don't actually need to activate it uh, because we are not. Uh, colliding it with anything. We'll attach a script, trebuchet to GD. So we're going to start with some pre-made platformer code for a trebuchet. It's pretty simple. Uh, let me run you through it uh, just to save some time. We have five constants. Speed, which is our uh, movement speed for, for the trebuchet. Our jump speed, which is our vertical uh, velocity when we jump. Our wheel speed is the rotational speed of our uh, wheels. Uh, gravity, which is the gravitational acceleration, and maximum fall is the cap on our gravity. Um, so let's let's go through the physics process. We've got our get endpoint function, which at first sets our velocity x to zero, and then if we move right or move left, we set our velocity to either uh, positive speed times delta or negative speed times delta, and we rotate our wheels depending on the speed and the wheel speed and delta. We also set our launcher scale and our frame scale. Um, depending on whether it's moving right or left. In addition, we offset our uh, launcher a little bit because it's not positioned exactly um, on the frames. When we rotate our frame, scale negative one, and rotate our launcher, scale negative one, it it's slightly offset to uh, to the right. So we have to to fix that with code. After we get our input, we accelerate our um, trebuchet with gravity, and if velocity y is greater than our max fall speed, then it, we set it to the max fall speed, and in the end, we uh, move and slide our trebuchet. Now let's get into uh, making the launching animation. So we'll start out with uh, copying this. Uh, Faction just pressed launch. Um, we will launch. This will be a private function, function launch, and pass for now. Right. For this, we'll create three variables that will help us track uh, whether we can launch. Uh, first of all, ready equals false true. This will be our uh, variable that allows us to ooh, that allows us to 
track whether we can launch, so whether we can uh, right click um, another variable that will tell us if we're in the part of launching animation when, when we can actually shoot a projectile, can shoot. And the last one will be whether we have already shot a projectile during a given launch animation. And the reason why we're making them properties, the reason why we're doing export uh, bool is because um, in order to access them from from the animation player, they need to be properties. What happened here? Um, let's create a new animation. Launch. Uh, for this, we'll make it two seconds. And we will add a new property track on the launcher that will change the rotation degrees of our of our launcher will start out at zero that's where it starts we'll go to negative 15 uh, so i'll show you how this will look rotation degrees negative 15 and we'll kind of go back and then we'll, we'll go to uh, 190 degrees so from negative 15 to 190 over here so we'll rotate like this and then we will insert another one that will bring back the launcher to zero right so this should work ideally uh, we will um, call our animation player and say play launch on a right click. Let's test this out and there we go. Our launching animation. Now the problem we will have is that when we play it, uh, when we're turned left, the scale of the launcher messes up the animation. So we will have to make another one um, which we will do later because there are a couple more tracks that we need to add so we will go to ready this is our boolean that we created for tracking whether we can launch we will set this boolean to false because when we're launching we're not ready to launch and in the end of the animation we'll set it to true uh, another one another boolean that we'll need to change is can shoot so it starts out as false but once we start going into our into our um, launching animation into the second part of our launching animation we will be able to shoot but after we go to 119 degrees and start winding back we shouldn't be able to shoot so that's that's what that will do and um, our last property will be shot which we will set to false at the end of the animation regardless of whether we shot or not be because we will be checking for it once we click right click again during the animation so this this is how the code will look if if ready launch we will set ready we don't need to set ready to false actually because we're setting it over here ready launch and if uh, can shoot and not shot we will create a projectile here so let's write the code for that we have our projectile already which is a rock which is just a rigid body with a sprite and collision shape with no no code inside it we will launch this thing so let's load our rigid body of our rock equals load this we'll need a variable for an instance and 
that's about it. We will need to instance equals rock instance. We will need to set the instance position equals um, raycast launcher raycast to deep position. After this, we will want to figure out the rotation of the launcher equals launcher rotation degrees. And after we will want to set the launch direction to vector two uh, cosine of L rotation and sine of L rotation. Basically what this gives us is a unit vector, which is a vector of length one in the direction that we will be launching our projectile. And what we will want to do after that is set our instance linear velocity, which is a property of a rigid body, to launch direction and multiplied by launch speed, which will be our new constant Let's start out with 150. We'll see how that goes. Now we will get parent, add child, instance. I believe this is it. Oh, almost forgot. We want to set shot to true. We do need to say L rotation equals to red. So let's see how this goes. Um, it's coming out of there. Why is that? That's because our raycast. Get global transform position. Get origin. So the problem we ran into there is that the position of the raycast is actually um, local. So we want to get the global position of the raycast. Uh, right. So it's going in a slightly different direction, which is because of the way we drew the sprite. So we will be subtracting 90 degrees from this. Yep. There we go. So one problem that we have still is that when we rotate our sprite, we are not able to launch properly. So we'll be creating another animation. Uh, we'll be duplicating this one, renaming it to launch reverse. And we will be changing our rotation degrees to their mirrors negative 190 and negative 190 and zero. So what we do need to do now is uh, depending on the scale of the launcher, launcher frame, frame scale um, equals one, we will play launch and else we will play reverse launch. So that will allow us to, why is it frozen? Oh, that's because our scale is a vector. So now, does rotate properly. The last thing that we're, we want to do here is um, make sure that we can't turn our trebuchet while it's launching. So 
essentially once we're already launching we don't want to be able to, to do this because it just makes it act all weird so we will get rid of that functionality and the way we will do this is if we press move right and we are turned left launcher scale if frame scale x equals negative one and and not ready so we're launching when we're not ready we will not scale our launcher and we will not we will not turn our frame and we will want to rotate the wheels in the opposite direction because they are also scaled so when we move right but don't actually turn the the frame we want to um, rotate wheels in the opposite direction so we'll do the same thing here frame is one and not ready we will copy paste this speed delta negative speed and this should be able to work let's test it out So we're not able to turn once we're actually launching. And we don't have weird weird behavior from the launcher itself. So this is about it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting and I will see you next time.